Hallelujah. We can be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Can I hear you somebody there? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Um, standing in front of you. Amen. Uh, Pastor Baloyi. Hallelujah. Uh, to be in such a wonderful place this morning, hallelujah. Um, it's a privilege, it is an honor uh, to have this opportunity. Are you there, somebody? Hallelujah. I don't hear you. I don't hear you. Can you wave your hand? Can you wave your hand? Can you wave your hand? Hallelujah. Tell us something in Madabasha. Amen. Um, I'm not going to waste any time. Uh, I'll just share with you uh, very few things and then I'll be out of your way. Kerata Hu Dumerisa, Pastor Chilwani, in our midst, we thank you. We greet you in the name of Jesus, Pastor Mpumi. We greet you in the name of Jesus, the worshipers, the sound engineers. We greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, seated down. We greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for this wonderful opportunity. Uh, Yahweh regret this wonderful day just to be together and uh, equip one another for the sake of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I do believe all of us here, we do have uh, destinies or must I say God-given destinies which God has given to us. Hallelujah. But as the theme says, uh, it says, rejoice not over me, my enemy. If you read it from the, uh, 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 my, my, my version, hallelujah, the King's James Version, uh, it says, uh, rejoice not over me, my enemy. Uh, though I have fallen, I shall rise again. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then now there's a question here. It says, can a young man uh, fall down? Hallelujah. Can a young man Hallelujah. Yes, the Bible says so. If the Bible says so, who am I to say no? Hallelujah. If you read in the book of Isaiah chapter 40, verse 30 and 31, it says, uh, it shows us that uh, indeed even the youth can fall. Hallelujah. The Bible really says so, says, even the youth can fall down. Hallelujah. If you continue reading in, the, in, in, uh, in, in verse 31, it says, um, but those who wait upon the Lord, hallelujah, Amen. and those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. It means if you do not constantly renew your strength, you can end up falling down. Clap hands for Jesus. Depends for Jesus. If you don't renew your strength constantly, constantly, you have to renew your strength constantly so that you may avoid doing what Bazalwan, you may avoid falling down. So, um, to answer that, Bazalwan, I will not go Kielelolo, uh, but the Bible says, Abba Shabaya Wanukuwa. Hallelujah. Not only Abasha, but anyone who is in the Lord. I remember three days ago, um, Lali, uh, one of the child of God, came on Zahore, you know, I've been reading throughout the scriptures. I have seen that the great men of God have been, you know, all out from the beginning of Genesis until Revelation. The Bible shows us that it is possible to fall. Hallelujah. The first man that was created by God, Adam, he fell 
Hallelujah. The first man. So it's not, it's not, it's not something new to fall. And it's not something strange when you fall. You are not the first person. Hallelujah. The Bible says, uh, 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 Adam fell into sea. So the first man, Adam, fell into sea. So you are not immune to that. No one is immune to falling. No one is immune to falling. So you have to keep on guarding your steps. You have to keep on guarding your steps. Because you cannot say, I know can I live 15 years, keep on the or I am now a pastor, you know, I speak in tongues, I worship so powerfully, I pray for three hours. You can fall, you can still fall down. On the Orabella seven days a week, on the Onamela Titaba every day, you can still fall down. That I guarantee. That I guarantee. You can still fall down. Onamela Taba every day. You can still fall down. Ufasta every day. You can still fall down. But you have to guard your steps. You have to guard your steps. No one is immune to falling. No one is immune to falling. You can guard your steps. But the good thing is that you can still rise again. Clap hands for Jesus. I don't hear you. Can somebody clap hands for Jesus? If there's a young person there, clap hands for Jesus. Let me hear some noise. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We are not here. Uh, to threaten you, we are not here for a victory to or to scare you. But you know, it is good when you know the truth. Hallelujah. You know what? It does not matter how anointed you are. You can still fall down. You know, if we embrace that reality, we will minimize the chances and the rate of falling in the house of the Lord. If we embrace that truth that you can still fall, you will minimize the mistakes. You'll minimize the mistakes. Hallelujah. Um, I'm just going to share with you, you know, some truth so that we can be able to learn and be fully equipped to save in the house of the Lord, avoiding all the dangers that you are able to avoid. Hallelujah. And then uh, um, there is a question here about Buzza Yona Iti. What are the things which discourages a young man? Hallelujah. Amen. And then uh, uh, I just want to put, I've read these points together. Uh, um, actually, the, the second one and the third one, can a young man fall? What are the things uh, which makes the young person to be discouraged? What makes the youth to fall? It's almost uh, one and the same thing. So I'll just try to to wrap them up and then uh, 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 give you just a, a short way of motivation and then I'll be out of your way. Hallelujah. Um, this is a very important subject that uh, the Lord has allowed us to deal with. Uh, it, may, it, it may be meaning less to some of us hallelujah i mean some of us it may be meaningless i will not figure to that level but let us prepare you uh, before the time Amen. hallelujah we just want to prepare you before the time uh, that it may also happen to you that you find yourself uh, in the crossroads amen okay um, let me begin by answering these questions and then I'll, 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 I'll iron up when I'm done. Um, what makes the young man to fall? Hallelujah. What makes the young man to fall or what makes the young man to be discouraged? Let me just put them on uh, one item. Hallelujah. Um, number one, Number one, it's a discouragement. Number one, it's discouragement. Normally, uh, as young people, when things are not going right, we are when we are not meeting our deadlines, our expectations. Uh, by this year, 
I should have done this and that and that and that. Achieved one, two, three, and then uh, and we don't meet those things. We don't meet our deadlines. Uh, can we please remove your deadlines sometimes? Because deadlines are very dangerous. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, you have to learn to accept the will of God sometimes because it may be your desire, but it's not the real will of God. Hallelujah. It may be your desire to be on that point at that time, at that date, but you find out it is not God's will, although it is your desire that you are praying for, and it's not God's will, and God delays you for a moment, and then you find yourself discouraged. Hallelujah. So discouragement uh, is uh, one of the number one, number one uh, reasons of uh, backsliding as young people everywhere. Hallelujah. Number two, uh, let me try to, to explain uh, the term falling. Hallelujah. Before I go further, let me try to explain the term falling. And then, uh, because uh, we tend to generalize when we say falling. You know, the other person may think when we talk about failing, we are automatically talking about, you know, kuwa, mumurine, or hujasi as such. But sometimes we are not talking about kutuha mumurine. To fall does not uh, 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 simply repre uh, represent that you have, uh, 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 you are now practicing a sinful life. Hallelujah. There are many levels. There are many levels. Can you read for me uh, just this one scripture? Ephesians chapter 2. I mean, uh, the book of Revelation chapter 2. Uh, read for me verse 5 quickly. I will be done. Just read with us verse 5 for us in the book of Ephesians chapter 2. Okay, let me read it for you. It says... Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I'll come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his, out of his place, except thou repent. Hallelujah. Um, let me go to um, verse 3. Verse 3. And it says, And you have bear my witness, and has the patience, and for my name's sake, has labored and has not offended. Amen. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. The Bible says, you have the patience, you are laboring for my name, you are not fainted. In other words, you are not discouraged, you are working for the Lord, you are pushing God's agenda, you are active in the church, you are doing all things. But there is a certain level. The Bible says, remember your first love. Amen. In other words, you are doing everything for the Lord. But there is a certain level. So according to this scripture, falling is determined by the levels. Can I hear you? Amen. Falling is not simply that you have committed a sin. But falling is determined by the levels upon which you are standing. Hallelujah. So when the Bible says, though I have fallen, I shall rise again. It does not necessarily talking about committing sin. But there is a certain level which you have fallen from. Can I hear you remember? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you, you, we, we, Barcelona, we are on different levels hallelujah so in other words you may be anointed higher than me or you may be gifted higher than me you may be committed higher than me you know you may be doing a things at a level which i'm not able to do it hallelujah and then you find yourself slowly declining so falling it is uh, determined 
by the levels. You may not be interceding as you used to do five years ago. You may not be worshipping as you used to do three years ago. You are no longer into what God has called you to do some years ago. So that is actually falling. Hallelujah. God calls that falling. When you stop doing what God has called you to do, you are still born again, washed by the blood, filled by the Holy Spirit. You still love the Lord. You are still obedient. But there are certain things which you are no longer doing. And God calls that falling. Clap hands for Jesus. Clap hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. To those uh, who were saying, but Na'agisoe, why do they bring this kind of a topic, hallelujah. It may, it may happen that somewhere, somehow, little things have gone out of you. So it's, it's also folly, hallelujah. And the Lord says, repent from that folly, hallelujah. Arise again, there's chance for you to rise again, hallelujah. And then I was touching in the Baye, yeah, yeah, discouragement, and then... Um, um, I've talked about the delays for sometimes when we are delayed according to if you look at the book if you look at the book of Luke chapter 8 verse 7 there is a delay of a judgment there the Bible says although he will tarry hallelujah can you read for us brother and next uh, Luke chapter 18 verse verse 7 very quickly very quickly Luke chapter 7, I'm um, Luke chapter 18, verse 7. Now, will God not judge in favor of his own people? Yes. Who cry to him day and night. Day and night. For help. For help. Will he be slow to help them? Will he be slow to help them? I tell you, he will judge in their favor and do it quickly. Okay. But will the Son of Man find favor on earth when he comes? Quickly comes after a delay. Hallelujah. Amen. That quickly day comes after a delay. Let me uh, try to look at it in my uh, old version. You see, I've brought this old Bible of mine. Hallelujah. Because it speaks well somewhere. Hallelujah. Um, and shall not God avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him, though he be along with them? Hallelujah. Though he be along with them. It simply says, although he will delay. In other words, God sometimes will delay to answer those prayers. And that can cause discouragement to the children of God. Hallelujah. But it, when you read it, it says, he will answer them quickly. Hallelujah. So the delay is in your sight. It's not in God's sight. Hallelujah. So it's you who is calling that a delay. But God does not call that a delay. So delay is in your sight. It's not in God. God does not delay. When he answers that, that is quickly. Clap hands for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you being helped? Yes. Are you being helped? Amen. So God does not delay. He will answer your prayers. Don't count it as the delay. Keep on praying, keep on pushing, keep on hoping, and keep on believing. It is coming your way. Clap hands for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then um, just to wrap some of my 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 uh, my, my my points here, I've said one of the discouragements are the giants along the way. Giants along the way cause us to be delayed. Uh, 2 Samuel chapter 2 verse 17 1 Kings chapter 19 Hallelujah uh, Let's read the story in the book of 1 uh, uh, Kings 1 Kings chapter 19 1 Kings chapter 19 We are going to read that one very quickly Uh, I'll read it for you. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done 
and with all how he had slain all the prophets with his word. Then Jezebel sent a message unto Elijah, saying, So let the gods do to me, and more also, if I make not thy life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. Verse 3. And when he saw that, he arose, and when he saw that, he arose and went for his life, and came to Beersheba, which belongeth unto Judah, and left his servant there. But he himself went a, went a day's journey into the wilderness, and came and sat under a juniper tree, and he requested for himself that he might die, and said, It is enough, O now. It is enough now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am not better than my father's. And as he laid and slept under the juniper tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. Hallelujah. Um, I've said, um, one of the things that makes us to be discouraged and leave what God has called us to do is because of the giants, the problems which are threatening us. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 um, don't be surprised that I've chosen this uh, uh, this uh, scripture, chosen example. Uh, Elijah is an example. You know, um, I've not heard the years of Elijah as I was reading the Bible. There is no way when it states Elijah died at 45, at 30, 15, or 60. Hallelujah. So I will presume in this context that Elijah was a young man who has been simply doing the work of God and because of the harvest and the, the breakthroughs that has been coming along his way you know suddenly there was an animosity and an opposition and his life was under a threat amen he has been suddenly threatened because of uh, the breakthroughs which he was getting uh, our Islam breakthroughs side by side with opposition hallelujah so sometimes we, we, we have our our heart aches at the prime of our breakthroughs and our success when you say now i have made it you know i've found what i need this is what i was looking for you finally you are met with a challenge and an opposition and then you all of a sudden give up so some of the challenges does not come because there is a lack of breakthroughs. There are challenges which will be brought by a breakthrough in your life. So a breakthrough can provoke a heavy challenge that can automatically stop you and stop your life forever. Yes, this is the scenario of Elijah. When he had a greatest breakthrough, he found a greatest challenge that automatically stopped his ministry and that was it amen, amen. so be careful when you you accomplish something and you think just because i've accomplished this one now it's going to be a wire wire but you'll be amazed that's when you find your greatest opposition amen, amen. so the giants will come along your way when you do mighty works, when you have your breakthroughs. Clap hands for Jesus. Amen. Do you hear this point? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 There are some of you here, young people, you're anointed. Immediately you think, now I have entered my ministry, Maybe they appoint you or they give you a branch. No, now, Brother Ernest, this is your branch. You know, we've seen your faithfulness. One, two, three. And then when they promote you in the prime of your promotion, that's where you, miss, you meet your deadliest opposition. And then you finally give up. It's too heavy. Clap hands for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Clap hands for Jesus. It looks like it's too heavy for you. Amen. Amen. Let me go to my to my to my last point. And then uh, that is uh, 
um, in the book of uh, the book of Matthew. Hallelujah. There is a parable of Jesus Christ there. Uh, the parable of the seed so I love it so much. I, I learned my lessons there. The parable of the seed sower. Uh, that is the book of Luke chapter 13 verse 20, 21 and 22. It says, but he that, re that received the seed. Um, verse 21. Yet hath not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth, because of the weight, by and by he is offended. Number 22, he also that received a seed among the thorns, that he heareth the weight and care of this world, and the care of this world, and the deceitfulness of the riches, chalk the weight and he becometh unfruitful. Amen. This is my last points. I've got a lot of points. Uh, we won't finish them. But um, one of the reasons we have young people falling down uh, is this one. The care of the world. That's how Jesus Christ describes it. He says, the care of the world. Amen. Nizo Amen. I'll just explain shortly. This is one of the problem we have, not only in the young people, let me just sum it up, but we have it in the body of Christ as a whole. We have it in the Sunday school, we have it in the teenagers, we have it in the youth, we have it in the adults, we have it in the pastors, we have it in all kinds of leadership. We have the problem, the problem of the care of the world. The problem of the care of the world. The Bible says in the book of Romans, be not be conformed. Be not be conformed with the ways of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of the mind so that you may know what is the will of God. Now, come, let me tell you, here's the problem. The problem is we are constantly being fashioned according to the styles of the world, according to the ways, according to the standards. We want to be like them. Hallelujah. As we see them, we want to be just like them. We don't want to be missed out. So we fashion everything according to what they do in the world. We, we, we last, the Bible says, the other vision says, but the last of the care of the world. We are lasting after the world, not after the word of God. Can you hear me? Do you hear me? That's what Jesus Christ says. He says, the reason of falling down, the reason of unfruitfulness is the care of the world. It is like a thorn. This one says it is seed that has been sprouting in the midst of the thoughts. So by the time you are supposed to be going up, you are choked. Number one, bad company is choking you. You want to save the Lord. But the people around you, they are the thoughts. They choke the word of God. Number two, your line of thinking, it is the thoughts. What do you think? Amen. How we fashion our minds, are we transformed as young people? Is Jesus Christ our best example? Or are there other best examples beside Jesus Christ? Are we, are we, are we proud of being the children of God? Hallelujah. I only say to the church in Madrid, I say, I'm the only person that is born again at my work. And I constantly say to them, I'm born again. I tell them every day that I'm born again. I am the only person, we are 32 employees where I work. We are 32, I'm the only person that is born again. Out of the 32 people, I'm the only one that is born again. And yet I do not allow their presence to choke me. It's, it's, it's not easy, it's a constant fight. If you have been at work, you've been exposed to some situations, you know that it's not easy, does not matter, you're a pastor, you're a bishop, you're a wife, as long as your surroundings are not godly, they will chuck you if you're not careful. 
they will chuck you. Amen. They will chuck you if you're not careful. So our environments are able to suppress which God has put into us. But the Bible says, Timothy, put that which that has been committed unto you. So it calls for a child of God, whether you are in grade 8, whether you're in grade 7, whether you're in grade 10, you're in grade 11, God that has been committed unto you. God which God has committed unto you. And then you will keep on arising. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell somebody there is still hope. Amen. Tell somebody there is still hope. Bro brother brother Martin, uh, Ecclesians chapter 9, verse 4. I'm done. Ecclesians chapter 9, verse 4. I'm done. Hallelujah. You know, while he's still looking at that, be careful of the Goliaths. Be careful, those are the giants. Be careful of the Jezebel around you, which are threatening your calling. Be careful of the delays and be careful about the case and the last of the world. It's a, this is the number one choker of the Holy Spirit in the, in, in the body of Christ. The Holy Spirit has been choked by the case and the last of the world in the church and in the body of Christ. Ecclesiastes chapter, chapter 9 verse 4. Just one verse. Yes. Yes. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 4. I'm done. It says still anyone selected out of your life has hope for as they say repeat 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 it again still anyone selected out of out of life has As hope. anyone selected out of life has hope has hope or oh, you don't hear this anyone that is still alive is there is hope for that person continue brother martin for as they say, a living dog is better than a dead lion. For as they say, a living dog is better than a dead lion. And my vision, for to him that is joined to all that, to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. Hallelujah. The Bible is simply saying to us this morning, as long as you are alive, it does not matter how broken are you. It does not matter from which level have you fallen. It does not matter what have arisen, how many of the giants are coming against your life, how many of the Jezebel, how many of the thorns. But the matter, the heart of the matter is that as long as you are alive, there is still hope for a young person who are alive as long as you are still living, it does not matter what you have lost along the way. How many people have rejected you? How many people have left you? How many money have you lost? How many jobs have you lost along the way? It doesn't matter. But as long as you are alive, there is still hope for you. You can still rise again and make it in life. Clap hands for Jesus. Thank you so much. that may come to discourage you all the giants everything that may be against your life even your prosperity is open this at the primary we are one letter of opposition so your tandas of which you can see that a letter the opposition that is strong in telling me over Cisella, Cisellenzo, Ubutukulas was Paramis, Cisella, Cisellenzo, Uzotela Man, Ubutukosi, Superman, that to stand up and rise, and not only to rise, but to stand strong against Tandas, the mother Kameli Liga Jesu, Wasena Zaleta, Baba Sia Tandas, the Kameli Liga Jesu, Wasena Zaleta, Almighty God. Jesus 
Amen. Amen. I just want to say thank you to the Almighty God for this opportunity. Most of you know, Amen. So, we really bless the name of the Lord for the topic. Amen. You know, the, the, the story of Elijah after he has fought, after he has killed the prophet Amen. Ungulungulu manje inde mangazile nte mangaifunda ngaifunda ngaifunda manje tu ifunda the voice of the Lord is coming to me manje iti no wake up woman of God we will meet in the safest Hallelujah ane bangole suddenly ngia sega at the same time I'm crying for the presence of God and I laughed like ngia sega new valleys and lazam okay we will meet in the service of God. Upundi simaga kulu mangiti olu na yoge lendu. Hallelujah batande gai. Kushuku tungulu ngulu kuhon. The Lord is with us. Hallelujah. So, ngiakbi ngele la mundo musha. Eka mele ngosu Jesu Christ wa se Nazareta. And then we are here. Ngila mina na mtlanje. Uguzo kuluma. Uguti. Yes, itopi kisa izo. It rejoice not my enemy. That I have fallen. But I shall rise again. Hallelujah. Can somebody say, I will rise again? Hallelujah. Because Ungulungulu ngega shogiti ati Rejoice not my enemy that I have fallen and I will rise again. Gungeko abawili. Gushuguti, there is a falling in this place because Ungulungulu ukuluma nabawileyo. Ukulu kulu mga kulu mano mundo wile Kusu kutu upa istembiso 
ne sita zako. Uguta ayunga chabuli. I can see Uguti you've been threatening me alone. But rejoice not for my God is a living God and he is promising that I shall rise again. Hallelujah. Can somebody stand up on your feet and prophesy upon your life Uguti I'm a prophet. I, I, I'm an intercessor, but I, I'm not doing things the way I used to do. Yes, but I'm going to go to the references of the scriptures. A person, you cannot go to the doctor. Even though you have to go to the doctor, but you have to go to the doctor. And even the doctor, what is it about you? What's wrong about you? Then you will tell the doctor that I'm dizzy, you know. And another thing, a doctor, you see, when I'm going to the toilet, one, two, three is happening to me. I don't understand what is my problem, but there is a something that you are giving to the doctor that makes you understand. I am not well. Hallelujah. So I'm not suggesting a band of us of whom are the boss in Hanville and Helene. But if you understand, you would access a him. I have fallen because of my will. There are signs that shows you would give me a normal one. They say, Hallelujah. But you need to accept. You need to accept. Hallelujah. We call it repentance. But I Like I just want to insist this thing because most of the time it's very difficult to deal with the people who are knowledgeable. Because someone who is knowledgeable, who I can see even the wave of amen. So you cannot be healed up until you recognize that I need a healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So now, as I'm going to Niso 7 Zena, Pesu Gana, my scriptures, Liti is Langulungulu, Masiol Fundala. Okay, let me say this. Little, how can we help a young man who has fallen to rise again? Number one, Nite, you need to accept to go to Uile. I need. Number two, Nite, Lamina. It is possible. Okay, ask his Bangwele, Nihabero. Little, you need to understand that you have fallen. As if you have fallen, you have fallen. 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 Ndalanje all pet eh masinya tela silfunde nge language English siba vanta ba shasonga gish so si so si as seven si seni only one language a a a a ribere as seven si seni singisi amen niyata bangu tizos accommodate hasong Ezekiel chapter thirty seven verses eleven 
Oipete angasfunde. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. We are completely cut off. Amen. Kukuluma ungulungul. Ujela uhezekiel. Uguti. Labandu bakon. Angiti bangwele. Ukona lumund. Engonzwe. Angiti. The person is in the house of the Lord. Ungulungulu, the peoples of God. Kunguti, Hezekiah, I need you to stand in a gap. Ukulu me pezwale mbilo, yomundu. In unto the dry bones. See, us, see, 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 we, we know that scripture, all of us, I need bangwen. But now, ungulungulu uti, gugugugulu mundu, ungulungulu uti, lomundu ukon. But number one, ufile, yes. And then lomundu has lost hope. Lomundu, angasena manja wokhamba, enjele. Lomundu, kathega se, uhu ukon, anjena se mkonzo, and so we are shukit marai sande, let me go, amen. So, uzo kulumele ndino guti, umasele se unjalo, usizega kanjali. Amen. Lomundu, uya fana no guti, lomundu ya fige mkonzo no guti, ah, hota na, ginora bela, because of, it's time of a prayer, amen. I, I, I will just worship me. I need to go to the We ask you to go to the We ask you to go to the Lord. We ask Elohim, Ungu omnipotent, Ungu omnipresent God. You know all the names of God. You can mention them like a theory unto you. And you can still do that while you have fallen. Amen. You can still say all those words while you have fallen. Hallelujah. But now, Ungu yindole ikingeleta this scripture, Ungu ti, People should understand. Uguti, ngiwile, but yet still calling. Ika malangu nukolo. Angiwile, but still, nisa kuluma. Nguti, yes, ungu Jehovah Elohim. Ungu al-shaldai, ungu mikadesh. Nisa mbiza mamanka mawake uonge. Mara, a functionality yani. It's never the same. Hallelujah. So all I'm trying to do now. Uguti, be in an acceptance. Yoguti. This dry bones, they were dry. in the house, preaching the word of God. But yet those people, but there's a scripture that says they are worshipping me only with the lips of their mouth but their hearts are not unto me and yet the Lord is saying I am the God of the hearts it is your that will accept my heart has fallen away and my spirit is fading away and I can see that bit by bit I am dying in the presence of the Lord while standing and telling people that born again child of God hallelujah somebody needs to understand but when the maubuza umunduti iyini land because of children I do not understand so it is very much important to understand whether you like it or not you must work to understand because when you work to understand is the more powerful you become and get who caught the foot of God your life. Amen. You cannot be healed. You need to understand where you are going now, where you are walking now. You need to understand. It is very much important. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Sifunde Izuli kangkulu kulu la payana James chapter 5 verses 13 to 16 Sikuluma ngani manje Ngomundu o understand ayo Lende nengizo mangwene Manje sikuluma ngomundu O understand ayo Kuti now I understand Sisi senya susisa senya zitola Fana no kuti uye kumfundi Soa kuti waiti murute haksai kutwe la matatia Muruta ho kuti Sebo tetake imi Ara haki understand the white Simply you say, okay, you can go home. Sometimes it's difficult to do that. But how can a pastor help you without you understanding what you are going through? Yes, we prophesy. It's nothing wrong. But you cannot be helped. You cannot be assisted. You need to understand. I need to wear. Even the prophecy doesn't come to a to, to a person who could not a kurmen eye. A prophecy is a, a confirmation. So who are you? Then you say, Murudi, how can I understand you? Kita Maya guy. And how can I understand you? You know, you are lying. You, you understand and you know exactly what is the cause of your fall. Yeah. Hallelujah. Asifunde, what is your kuluma mumundu? You need help because now you understand what you are going through. Hallelujah. I give us in James chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. James chapter number 5, verse number 13. Is anyone among you afflicted? He should pray. Is anyone glad at heart? He should sing praise to God. Verse 14. Is anyone among you sick? He should call in the church elders, the spiritual guides, and they should pray over him, anointing him with oil in the Lord's name. Verse 15. And the prayer that is of faith will save him who is sick, and the Lord will restore him, and if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Verse 16. Confess to one another, therefore, your faults, and pray that you may be healed and restored. The earnest prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available. Hallelujah. We speak about somebody who already understands. Hallelujah. So, is there anyone among you who is sick? Amen. Now, you are looking for help because you know Uguti Gwenzagalani Mpilweniyako. Now you need help. Hallelujah. So, is Ugangulungulu is anyone among you here? O Okulayo, Uma Abe Ukona, then Loyo Mundu should approach and go to the elders of the church. Amen. And then, Litis Rangulungulu, Lekuluma also about you, a person, confessing what you are going through. Something that now you know and something that you now understand that I'm going through a certain point, now it comes to confession. Hallelujah. We are spirit beings. So a spirit being, but when we become sick in the spirit. Amen. And we are not whole. Hallelujah. And there's something wrong about us. Amen. I right in our spirit. I will right as to a point of the some of us sing and up as in Gula Mowetin is or taking treatment as better. Can't you go and let the go through your own? Maybe it was something or look to you confessed and you get a deliverance and a healing immediately. Hallelujah. So much is going to look about this person now going to the elders of the church seeking help from the elders and from the leaders. There are these words and it's time that you call us Kuluman. As a leader, as an example, hallelujah. They needed to go back to their father Paul. So that Paul will make you Paul as a was the lives of would know as happy ganche. We are doing something like this now. As in getting Oh God, this is your child that she is sick. My father, I present him at your presence. She needed something. She needed a greater anointing. Who would you 
Unfaithful wives, having illicit love affairs with the world and breaking your marriage vow to God. Do you not know that being the world's friend is being God's enemy? So whoever chooses to be a friend of the world takes his stand as an enemy of God. Verse 5. Or do you suppose that the scripture is speaking to no purpose that says, The spirit whom he has caused to dwell in us yearns over us 
and he yearns for the spirit to be welcomed with a jealous love. Verse 6. But he gives us more and more grace. That is why he says, God sets himself against the proud and haughty, but gives grace continually to the lowly. Verse 7. So be subject to God. Resist the devil. Stand firm against him, and he will flee from you. Verse 8. Come close to God, and he will come close to you. Recognize that you are sinners. Get your soiled hands clean. Realize that you have been disloyal, wavering individuals with divided interests, and purify, and purify your heart of your spiritual adultery. Verse 9. As you draw near to God, be deeply peni penitent and grieve, even weep over your dis disloyalty. Let your laughter be turned to grief and your mirth to reach to dejection and heartfelt shame for your sins. Hallelujah. We need to submit ourselves to God in order for us to rise again. Hallelujah. Little you adulterous people, don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against God? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy to God. Hallelujah. So, but we cannot please God. Uma Tina Siba, the friends of the world. Amen. in settlement with God. Well, si pila impilose tu jenga bantu beswe. Isu ngangulu ngulu li kunuma maso muti angenge suwasu kumchabulisa while we are friends with the world. Amen. So the, 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 another thing ekmele siyenze in order for us to be helped kumele siwasu kuseparate tina from the things of the world or from the worldly friends utumfundis naga kuluma and if you cannot win them over, then they will win you over. Hallelujah. And uh, it's, it's, yes, it must be the example. You see, if we can take a white cloth and a red cloth, since started together, since fighting a paratuba man, a white cloth, and then it was what he reflected the red one. But the red one, it will leave the stains onto the white cloth. So we should see about a pelayo. And those people who know the truth about God. So my mama people in the world doesn't know the Holy Spirit as much as you know the Holy Spirit. Because the word of God says about the Holy Spirit, little for you shall know him. And then you will not so was Sipila no But the doors that we are working with, they cannot even recognize the Holy Spirit. They can never know Him. So you alone, you are the one in, in the relationship, in the marriage with God. And as the one being in marriage with God, that means men and women work up in the society than the people of Pilanago. Even in your family, go away to Mundo's was I'm jumping out. This is not my case. I am a born again child of God. I'm not doing this. I am not participating in this. You are the one who must tell them. You might be but well, you walk. If a man's a woman, I'm not going to pass him. But come on, we want to talk to our sex lesson. But she is a part because of inside of that family, God has decided that you are the chosen one. And as the chosen one, wherever you are, you must walk as a chosen one. We have rules and regulations. God made us with the mansion, the Baba, the Nisa. I am not jumping the line, and I'm not crossing to this line. Ever pass from Nanya to Dzenya fast? To me, it's a full stop. Cause I am the chosen one of God. I am the anointed one of God. Lang ang lang yung konadayon na, but I don't know. They fight us a lot. 
in the crowd. But now we come to terms when they are in trouble. They know that my body is working. Hallelujah. They, they will tell us, but I will tell you, and one hoya mola or face a mahua, a velegan nedi, lena ne kirapel, ne kirapel aruena umtutama, marabai seki batvabadim. But currently now they are praying to my God. Hallelujah, batanga. So ngamanya makama. All that I'm saying to you today, children of God, it doesn't matter that you are young or old. God has to just unkin get to a kai, and then ngakula. To this point now, I'm still saving the Lord with my parents. I'm saving the Lord now with my family. Hallelujah. But I was alone. And at home, whenever I was in those apartments, they don't even call us and tell us what you do they rejected me and I said God you are holy and true and I thank you for their rejection it's good that they know that I'm not going to do it anymore hallelujah oh do you think scripture says without reason go verses 5 that he jealously longs for the spirit he has, he has caused to dwell in us but he gives us more grace. That is why scripture says, God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Stop being proud in what you are going through. Hallelujah. Humble yourself. Submit yourself to God. So that you will find the proper help. He jealously longs for the spirit that he deposited in us. Amen. The brothers of Joseph, the mountains in they did all. But in the Bengul, they must go Joseph, they must have to go to my uncle, or my father to Joseph. Then he has Uta going through all those trials. But now, my tender guy, if the good in the routine, if you humble yourself, the Lord will make you great. If you humble yourself, Ungulukulu will make you somebody. If you humble yourself, God is going to deliver you. Hallelujah, but tell the God. We need to submit ourselves. It submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve, mourn, wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Hallelujah. So, I tell the God, I can feel it in my spirit who is practicing shihile. Amen. But now, but the guy, in the school, it is with Angulukulu. Resist the devil, and the devil will flee from you. Ah, 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 nege, ukale, ne sono, besese usfite, and expect uba mnandi in the spirit, and expect uti, u flourish like you used to be. Hallelujah. And then, but the guy, oh, ah, nege, uwe, ukale, egwen, wako, and expect to uti, when usofe, upile, she. Hallelujah. Let us look from the first scripture in Apostle corner. Those people who were trying to prophesy upon themselves. He needed his men, the men of God, had to come and speak life to the dry bones. So the dry bones may live again. So, you submit, you about submission under the anointing of God so that if you seek help, who's the one who sees as a child of God? Now, but in order for us to rise again, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, because I can feel the discussing she. Yo, our minds, hallelujah. The devil is battling with our minds. The last of the world, but in the guy, he's a amity with Tiabona, Riabona, and Kiribatovacha, Riabona, Riabona, our brother Babona, and it. Now she passed a call, Babona, Siabona, Axel Mason, Axel Mason, Axel Mason, Axel Mason, Siabona, and Batanga, Liru Narli, Dirliba, Tuabo, Mary Avon, Riabona, Rashiava, Mara, brother, see Paul. 
Mara and then limbo brother simply bona ba bona ba rei mara sister mara iri kona pen angi batsate ga khulu mitsini zwa ke sipha ka mseni zwa ke sizweke ka nxa uthi ma uqede ukubona bese lento ehlele enqondweni bese lento ma iqede ukwehlele enqondweni i occupy no zama zama komzimba bese sekune sikune inyo i last banqwele ayi lento ma demonic pen Ilethwa ile nto ibonile. Hallelujah. So now, izwinga nkulunkulu ku Romans chapter 12. Ikuluma about us transforming our minds. Angathi asizeka. About us transforming our minds. We need our minds to be transformed. Lethi izwinga nkulunkulu we must give our bodies as a living sacrifice to God. For that is a true worship. Hallelujah. So now after that we need the transformation of our minds how do we transform our minds hallelujah batande god let us go ngunkulu ngizo explain amase ngikhuluma ngezwi lika ngunkulu about us living in the word of god hallelujah and how can we that we cannot live without the word of god sifuna ukuvuka we find solutions but after solution we need what to dwell in his word to meditate in his word hallelujah so our minds need to be transformed that is why i first spoke about understanding you cannot do all these things you want understand hallelujah so now la bayana ku colossians chapter 3 verses 1 to 4 it ibale pans it speaks about us se concentrate as in twenty za pesu Now you need to be transformed and concentrate on the things on the heavenly things because you are a spiritual being and your life was formed in heaven and God knew you before you were formed he says that in Jeremiah chapter 1 so now what we need as the children of God we meditate upon the heavenly things we meditate upon the things of God and it is not only meditation but seek hallelujah sifune okwaphezulu lapho kresu ahlele khona hallelujah what is his purpose ahlele maphakade we need to know it we need to seek it we need to be in understanding what he has set up that because of us he has won battles because of today we need to what is it and covered by his power hallelujah so let us go ngunkulu we need to be transformed and we need also to seek our pesu hallelujah lapho u christu akhona amen singa kijima batande kai can a young man live without a word of god it is highly impossible that is a question ungakwazi ukuthi uphile ngaphandle kwezulu kaNkulu Nkulu batande kai the first scripture so khulumela phezu kwayo singa uqeda Joshua chapter 1 verses 8 amen leo singayifunda nje masinya nje amen Joshua chapter 1 verses 8 Can a young man live without a word of God ya khoneka I connect we are spiritual beings made of an image of God amen as we are here in the world we are the image of God and we need to live according to the will of God and we need to act as God wants us to act we need to do what Jesus has done in this world and in order for us ukuthi sikwazi ukufinyelela lapho we need his word can the fish come out of water it is going to die hallelujah but then now as the fish iuma ngabe if the fish has to live it must live inside of the water the functionality of the fish inside of the water it is very powerful even the shark can tear you down and eat you and finish you off hallelujah inside of the water but come you out shark out outside of the water your power is gone hallelujah can you read it quickly for me please Joshua chapter number 1 verse number 8 Yes. This book of law shall not depart out of your mouth but you shall meditate on it day and night that you may observe and do according to all that is written in it for then you shall make your way prosperous and then you shall deal wisely and have good success Hallelujah then you shall do wisely and have good success 
We are speaking about the leader here. Hallelujah. Can the leaders raise up their hands? Do you know that you are a leader? Hallelujah. Wherever you are coming from in your family, everywhere you are, you need to live a godly life and you need to lead it. That means you are a leader of yourself and of the people who are watching you. Hallelujah. So now we should go to in order for you to be a good leader. This book of the law mustn't, mustn't depart from you. The book, this manual, shouldn't depart from you. So, but a child of God cannot live without a word of God. Jesus says, chapter one, is from, from the beginning, hallelujah. Little all things was created by him, and by him everything came into existence. Hallelujah. So now, as the children of God, we cannot live without Jesus. We cannot live without the word. That is why the word of God says, He is the bread of life that sustains us. For you, as a child of God, to be sustained, you need the word of God. For the word of God also is coming as a weapon when you are facing battles and tough and difficult situations. You got to defend yourself by the power of His word. You need to confess it as it is and say that David, you are the liar. For it is written that there's no weapon that is formed against me that shall prevail. You need to call to the word of God for you to be a powerful Christian. For you to conquer the situations that we are in. You need to go down deeper in the word of God. That is why you need also the understanding of his word for you to stand. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. A fish cannot live outside of the water. That is its death. But when a fish lives inside of the water, that is its power. So a child of God cannot depart from the word of God. Because his word is our power. And his word, in the dry situations, when you don't have food, you are able to pray for the little that you have and eat and be fitted with your family and live. With his word, we are able to prophesy and things come to pass. Hallelujah. His word is a must, is our food to eat it each and every day. When we wake up in the morning, by four o'clock, we reach our hang around and we are missing our own. After eating his word, then we go. Hallelujah. So it is impossible for a person to live without a word of God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. <laughs> Let our hearts be soft enough to absorb your weight. Do not just be hearers of the weight, but be doers of that weight. So it's your tender. Father, we pray for your word in the name of Jesus. Your word, my God, is active and alive. Your word is sharper than a double sword. Your word, Almighty God, is bread of life. Your word quenches our thirst. Your word, my Father, Amen, my God, who guide us on the way. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Mama Let it be my God. Put it away. 
In the wonderful name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. Ah, I am 
mazulu as Hallelujah. Kidu me dice mama le papa. Eh kibonu karba tsena kibonu kibonu bona. Udi mara tshogono lo fatse ba Zalwane ba bitseleng di atla. Hallelujah. Eh kidu me dice ba ruti ba ba nongona. Muriti ba loi eh muriti mpumi. Re ba shaile ne zandla ba Zalwane. Hallelujah. Mudi ma arga o gileng. A ino gore setsela pile ba Zalwane. I feel like you are rape. Kinoi re papa zalwan hallelujah Kinoi re pakise ke kana maki ke tsia tlhaologanyo tsa lena tsentshi already se tshe lejile hallelujah ke kwile already se tsa rejile ba zalwane gore ga botse botse re encourage lwe mo dimar hlogono lo fatse ke ba vangeli ba fita ba fita ba khahlela ba khahlela ba khahlela then ba ruti ba tsena hallelujah then zo fundisa ka nyane ba zalwane a ke tlona maketse ya skatis ningi mara zo fundisa ka nyane ne maves nam e ne maves ne ngwaba ya maves mara nge ke nge nge ya funde wonke mudimo a re tlhogono lo fatse ba zalwane amen mudimo a re ga o gileng re ba swa ka moka re fitile mo bucheng haleluya then go fit le mo bucheng e bona le dilo tse o kopana le tsona motsile ke o ka kwa muruti e e e pastor mpumi ga ruta mo o tsaya go bolela le baswa ba lo ring ba o ile ba itshweri o sana o gona ke re ke mbasalwane o sa ge ba itla ka mopile ba re pake or i am a christian a o re ke o ile ne or i am a christian o tsaya go re go re go re tutuetsa go re re tsoge mo dimo a re hlogono lo fatse mo dimo a beng le rena e mara go na le mozalwane o mongwe sho o ile le point ya o kreste a sana yona ni o no bona vele re re o bolela ka bo kreste o no bona lise a sa bona le point ya go re a tlekere ke mozalwane hallelujah na sim sisa ka ntjane na sim landa ka ntjane ba zalwane hallelujah go na le batho ba ba wang to the point ya gore o bona gore bona a ke silo vele a ke sale silo a hangi lutho endlini ka nkulukulu sho kuthi lesi sa ba zalwane ke sa botato ke tsa bo muruti banoi mina se mfanela ka mi haleluya mara sim sisa ka ntjane ba zalwane Yena sem siza kanjani umfundiswe akhuluma la uthi sine ma level wa khona sine ma level wa khona basalwa the fallen people baba wa motsile but omunwe sho basalwa he was a chorus leader he was an mc une adzi ya monielo mopile mara wa iragala uri awe ka le lengwe la majaji to the point ya uri a sa gona go emella u crepole motho u nita somebody e a ka motsia from down to the bottom hallelujah most of them 
most of them must run. Aba bo ikirigem because baza run ikabo na baba ya discourage. Let's say you say sukulelo. Instead of to umbu se back to God, we are mchadela. Umchadela to our happy. We dimar from the fat. Hallelujah. Baza run simlanda ganjani. Uma uzo kuti analo. Hallelujah. The Bible we parla in the book of Luke. You will look at the first loss. Hallelujah. The sheep. Sheep is lost outside the church. Sheep, it inga umvangeli ukuti avangele iswe. Then a sheep is also iswe. A young as nothing, nothing se manje anse kwe baibili. Marangko ne baibili. Ibaibelo umai uje suma aba fundisa ka e e e e ship ka se ka se e ship i representa umundo ye asangang akopana li chisu aibulele kang ukufela ni ibulele kang is a metaphor ibulele kang mutu ya asasang akopana li chisu then a fallen number one number two is a lost coin. Hallelujah. That's why you compare a, a, a mother who is sweeping the house. Hallelujah. Then snem saluani lo ukulile lo enestilo. Uma awa today. Lo uzo vuga because kate kate is sense ya ke ipumi. Uma ipumi sense. Um nigezi chance. Uma ipuya sense. Uti awa man. Nibonile kuti ngoni. Asi uloyo asi kuasi mtaja ta. Hallelujah. 
Zo tacha ama ama point ya 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 bazalwane eh eh bafundi se bandulela modimo a re tlhogono lo fatse modimo a re ga o gele bazalwane se o funda kahle kahle I want to talk about the first loss mzalwane e a ringe na ke sa ikwela go bona le ge le ge o ka ira bya mzalwane a senya ka o buya ntlong ya modimo haleluya so when you get a lava baby lava, so cool no man um salwa, because no um salwa ne aga ding o mono mundo, o ding ati na ba salwa ne si senki ni kam kulungu. Hallelujah. We di marche on our fats. Um salwa ne o hopeless. Hope I say ho, ba salwa ne Hallelujah. He mutu awa kanto ni amuti mu ki ufa tips ya no Hallelujah. Because Mzalwani elo ringe u in the first loss, u in the first loss, abo ni bo shogwa ya bo takirike, abo ni bo shogwa ya bo konza ukulu kulu. Unless someone go and preach the gospel again, would you want us to keep on fasting, Mzalwani? Iran ki shobu lena leba tu balorende understand the gospel. Oma umzalwane omungi awile or usisi or uputi awile agadini omungi umundu wase mshabeni utinga ama zalwane laba asana nabo ukutiba mungu ise back to God Hallelujah Hallelujah Mujimara shukono lufazi Kina kwa riba alerfite moyo na kabuzi Akina mikili moyo Loss number one. Mutu wile tla. Bona, une unali chomi mokerike mu bona o hamba na yu. Kona manja o sambon. Baga seko veli. Na uwe ya chabula buti. Awa aisi ya hamba veli evangeli le pambi. But umgan wami aga seko next to me. And umgan iloyo unita wena. Uwutu umkulu misi. Because in the way you call him, I can say, "But in the way you Jesus, I say, 'Kolagun.' Utal, utal, lo mundo. Hallelujah. Nasum encourage kanja ni basawa. Hallelujah. Akulumi ne ba fundis. Akulumi. As funded. Luke chapter fifteen. Ni apu malaba basawa. Hallelujah. Wow. Ufunde three ufun ufika kwa seven ufika kwa seven Hallelujah Rula kona la Luke chapter number fifteen verse number three So he told them this parable What man of you if he has a hundred sheep and should lose one of them does not leave the ninety nine in the wilderness and go after the one that is lost until he finds it and when he has found it, he lays it on his own shoulders, rejoicing. And when he gets home, he summons together his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, because I found my sheep which was lost. Thus I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one especially wicked person who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who have no need of repentance. Verse number eight. Or oh, what woman having ten silver drachmas? No, it's fine, my brother. It's fine. But what? More people like a sheep. Can I get close to a sheep? But can you go go? Can you go upon the horn? What do you? What do you got on a ini? Or all that a sheep? We do not have one of those. Hallelujah. You can come see. You can see. You can see. You can see. But Christ, more Christ, I want a rejection. Hallelujah. Mob Christing a hona o a rejectua. Mudim a raw head. Ira rejenga basalwani. Resikira bona basalwani papa mweba wile o karba rejectilo. They are not rejected. Gospel every pilang it's one ali relay or it's one ali marathon. If a bana le marathon, kadi rules. Hallelujah. Uji mara kwa kono lofat. Ina marathon. Rekano barishi ya nari lebo bote. Hallelujah. 
Christian le bobo ke bate rule en we le gona in the marathon gore 3 or 10 ba tsone le ba cream ba ba go ba tsone le ba humane award ba tsone le ba cry crown hallelujah ira ro gelo gore wa re o shiana modima re tlhogono lo fatse ba re in the marathon re nya ka batho ba only three people, Baba Ren Baba jump on the finish line. Kibar Batsiyan, all 100, they failed. But in the gospel, Marathon Warna in the gospel, our heart hale or uile hakai. But you mark on all facts. You can fall now. Hallelujah. In the in in, in our marathon, Mob Christi. The only crown you do you do you lose on? Kike wajo on the race. Any actor who angwa na, actor who angwa basalwa. That's why it is very important. Dori, her kabari shiana leba by ten. Omu we ajwa mo koras lide. I have to make sure that I go for that person. Ya chule mo, yo shipinti. The line or would you let number 100 or would you let number man? God doesn't matter about you. Would you let number man? Hallelujah! As long as Jesus Christ has a full opportunity, you are born, you can run again, you can come back to the race again. Hallelujah! Ahuna urba jo uto paka ambulance mutile or ahuna muri Christa or boyu well utori ufedi le kawe na we don't need you in the gospel eh eh kona masalwa you can fall seven times that's why muleke abulela arbon I will rise again because una le hope una le hope ya ori mo muri ne ike ori ke chanduri ke fe ke 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 me ke finish the line. As long as the hope is still there, you can run again. Our heart is in the marathon of 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 the 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 that's why it is very important you can come back again as is as is one thing one thing Verse number eight. Rejoice not against me. Rejoice not against me. Bow no, we are the exclude. Or bow not against me. Because we do sana the hope your I can rise again. I can rise again. Why would have a I can rise again? You don't need to bow now. Give mood to have a little hope. 
Mungunga ula ba Ernest awile, you have to take to carry the hope of Ernest. Umnigeze yona, but Ernest yes awile today, but there is still light here. Our body light, nalu light ba. Yes, our hand born, born ukulelo unemtuana, but still as long as usane usane nyau zimbili. You can walk again to the to the to the pulpit. Hallelujah. Would you march on Father Basalwa? This is how we bring people back. Because confidence yeah on I sali homobon. Kebabona, kebabona bo kreste, babon, ba nyenya. Aba sabona, aba sabona or korbano bono martilo tabo kreste tabo enest. Motiel Rumia yama mobile au pake la ira mi choloto aga ubuza rawa dilo tse ho mutse mutse tsaba ga fitse because hope I say Leon Hallelujah we return to report it hope ya ga rebek hope ya ga ga ile bek ile moyena that person can run again but re hope isa sala gona confidence isa sala gona bona aga skipi mi mutho o hwile tla hallelujah then tina ke ka ba zalwan sfanele o masimlanda siam bona re bo setsa ta to go back as funden la ba zalwan eh bo di marthlo go nolo fatse eh eh exist ayela ya 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 mfundi si mfundi si we we badile man eh 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 chapter 4 chapter 4 verse sfunde verse 9 Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 Two are better than one Two are better than one Bazalwa One who will I hold with encourage but he um we have matter then this person go go ya gape because the way you fan yona ke hope ya go I can do this again Hallelujah I can do this again I can do this again but you mark your heart Someone who tried to amuse something, Basalwa. Mulelele tula mu demur bona. In the house of the Lord, there is no rejection. But I will be like a man who is not allowed to burn. Muti mu yena uli belezi kani chole le muti. Muti mu saurata. Hallelujah. Bona muti mu rata liena mtu ano na liena. Kulu kulu ya panda man. Lendo aiza na ge mistake. Bona, he is a good one. Oh, my only talent is one. Every day we receive a issue that we are good one, and we are vuka on the mosha. For the proverbs, chapter twenty-four, verse sixteen. For a righteous man falls seven times and rises again, but the wicked are overthrown by calamity. Fall seven times, Bazalwa. Hey, you can't disappoint that little baruti because Vele will not disappoint her. Don't disappoint her. Don't disappoint her, Vele. Ruth has been a brother. Ruth has been working on her shoot and the camera. Ruth has been on the camera. Men are trying to rot her like a bush. Ring out our mum with camera men. Would you mark how one of us? Ruth has been disappointed. But he puts this question now. God is disappointed. Now, would you be not disappointed now? God is not disappointed. Mere kwa kaka suru ushuda kamera kuruto zina ngoji mo. Eh eh. God is not disappointed. I am disappointed. Jengo baba wako kumfundis. Mara ukuluku aga ko disappointed. Come back to God. Hallelujah. Budi marcho. Oh na iru kwa seven times. As long as God give you a chance. As long as a perfumula. Chogo chungulu kulu unigezi le na yo chance. Why don't you come back? Why don't you come back? Would you marry someone who fights against the law? Claim your position. Vote a vote. Ngule nya 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 soka la pambi. Psalm thirty seven. Verse twenty four. Psalm 37 verse 24 Though he falls 
He shall not be utterly cast down. Cast down, Barcelona. You will not cast down. You will not. Unkulukul, we are turned up. About Tanya Barcelona, yes. But Unkulukul, we are turned because Unkulukul has swabo enes. Unkulukul has swabo brother. Unkulukul, who go wait? Hallelujah. Then why don't you? Who did he tell Maroon Barcelona? Who did he tell Maroon? Yes, I have fallen, Barcelona. the Lord is close to those who are of a broken heart. A broken heart. The Lord is close to those who are of a broken heart. As long as your heart is broken, is where God comes. Just imagine of a broken heart yeah and saves such as are crushed with sorrow for sin and be penitent penitent come back <laughs> come back i know what is cool man is this a song game having school man is this a song give us a lot when your heart is broken it's where God comes I'm letting down, Basalwan. I'm letting down. Funda, funda yuk di na, ngati yuk di na le. Funda nineteen man. Funda nineteen le yo. Funda nineteen no twenty. Konalat eh 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 sal. Verse number 19. Many evils confront the consistently righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He keeps all his bones, not one of them is broken. As long as your, your, your bone is not broken, Bazalwan, sign a chance, man. A chance is as a corner. Chance is as a corner, Bazalwan. As far as the Labantu. Because their bones are still strong. Their bones are still strong. For the Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter 4. It's from the verse 8. It's from the verse 9. Verse 8. We are hedged on every side, but not cramped or crushed. 
We suffer embarrassments and are perplexed and are, and are unable to find a way out, but not driven to despair. Verse 9. We are pursued, but not deserted. We are struck down to the ground, but never struck out and destroyed. Bona mtana kakulu kulu ni akusiza na nawe ikai. Ukulu kulu upekile. Ukulu kulu wayazikuti imilingo ikhona indlini. But only those who are still in the race and finish the line that the ones will be counted in the kingdom of God. Who who cowards in lane but you are still welcome and run again. We did almost Hallelujah. point a Pastor acknowledge I have sinned. Hallelujah. Acknowledge Jesus 
Jesus to us in Nazareth. And the great of Caesar once more. In the glorious name of Jesus Christ from Nazareth. To Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Praise 